to San Bernardino County. Never been out here before, never lived out here before. And uh, I came out here to, to be with my grandmother and I started going to Valley College. I was on campus walking around and one day I saw a guy, actually my, uh, my guy Eric, uh, he passed me a flyer. He was like, yo, check this out, brother. So I took a look at it. I'm like, why P? Paid? All right, I'm in. So I sent an a email over to the email that was on there, uh, came down to the offices, met Joe, met Jermaine, and I, I became a, a YAP volunteer, you know, just, just like that. So the first production I ever did was actually for YAP. Um, we had a training video, I was a training and workshop coordinator, and we had a super outdated training video. And I came to Joe and I was like, hey man, this, this is kind of old, we need to do something about this. And Joe being Joe, he was like, well, you think you could do better? And I was like, yeah. So Joe gave me a budget. Um, I grabbed a whole bunch of the, um, the team members, wrote out like eight different scripts. We found a videographer who could come out and edit it and do the sound. And we reshot the training video. And it was really cool because that was the first time I actually had the opportunity to take an idea that was out of my head and professionally produce it. I took that little spark that started uh, with Yap in 2008 and by 2012 I had started my own business and began producing as like my, my sole source of income. I took that and kept building that business up to eventually becoming the vice president of video and content production at a mid-major label here in LA. And that literally, that whole trajectory, I can point right back to that, that first moment that I got to produce something with YAP. So I got started in the entertainment industry as an actor. Uh, I'm still an active SAG after member. And that was the first time that I really got to see like a big proper production. Uh, the first film that I worked on was called Red Tails. I was brought on a super small role, no speaking lines, anything like that. But it was a $50 million production. And I got to get up every day and work with George Lucas. And that was an amazing experience, amazing experience. And I really got to see like what a real production looks like, what it looks like, and that just further built my desire to learn how to produce and to learn how to create and, and not just uh, be on the sidelines. I really wanted to learn how to create. So uh, I started a production company and we did really small jobs. We would take any job that we can get, but slowly but surely we built up a strong body of work until we got an opportunity to produce a video for J-Lo called El Neo. And it's a video that's probably like to have a billion views now. So it's it's such a crazy uh, full circle moment to have started off as a member and to become a board member. Um, it's really just a, a full circle moment. And uh, it was actually why I, I put this on today. I got uh, my old Yap shirt from back in the day. This was like probably one of the first shirts that we had and we used to where um, you know, when we would go out and volunteer, it was mandatory to wear your shirt. You'd get in trouble if you didn't wear your shirt. And uh, this was this was like my first Yap shirt, and I always held on to it, like way after Yap, before I ever even knew that I could be a board member, before I even knew that that existed, just because that time was so uh, instrumental to me, and it really meant a lot, not only for my own personal and professional development, but it really meant a lot to the things that we did in the in the community and a lot of uh, former members I still stay in contact with. A lot of people that I serve with, I'm, I'm still friends with, we still talk, we still communicate. And even though everyone's gone off in their own paths, like we, we all are still connected in that way. So for all new members, really take advantage of all the opportunities that are uh, afforded to you. Uh, being in this position, you're getting access to experience and most importantly work experience that's gonna be applicable to your future.